this work? Bam, look it, we got two lives going, live on my Instagram, live on my YouTube, and this time we set it up so that one wasn't up here, one wasn't down here. We're ho professionals. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's like we're, two live crew here. We're doing another Flaviar tasting. This is the Power Rangers Scotch tasting. As always, it comes with an awesome coaster, which I'm adding to my stack. I'm, I get it. I have a stack going. We got. Um, we can have a lot of people over with Flaviar coasters. Just saying. <laughs> so, three scotches to try. Um, I put them in order, or what I think is the order. Um, I might have done it wrong. If I did, fuck. But the first one is Glen Goyne. Um, it's a cast strength batch six Highland single malt scotch. Um, 59, yeah, 59.8. Percent alcohol. You want to show? You show there, and I'll show here. It's really pretty. It's really. It's got like a copper to it. It's lovely. I've never had Glen Goyne, to my knowledge, or to remember. You always swirl it because why not? You swirl it so you look cool. Exactly. Sometimes you swirl it so you look at the leg. Like this is. A yeah, the more the oil. legs, the more the alcohol. That's the general. It's Ooh, an it interesting smells, smell. It smells sharp. It's got like a like a young smell. It's still got like the alcohol, like heavy alcohol in the nose. It's very, you know, this is kind of like a very. Oh, I like this. Quintessential Scotch. This is like what I think everybody thinks Scotch tastes like. Like this is like if you were like a baseline Scotch, would be like here, try this. This is what's. And then everything else adds flavors to it. Yeah, that's a good way of like, putting that. You know what it tastes like to me? Like how Macallan should taste. <laughs> I like Macallan. It's not my favorite, but I'll, I'll order it at a bar know, if it, there's nothing else. But I tend to like tastes, the special Macallan bottle. Yeah, like this is the what this tastes down. like to me. Like a, yeah, it's, it's really, really warming. Yeah, very warming. Not very peaty. It's got mm -hmm. a little sweetness to it. Like I don't know. Is this a sherry cask? I'm one? getting like caramel. Mm hmm. A little vanilla, maybe. A little vanilla. Some grain, like barley or wheat or toast or something like that. Yeah. Like oats. It tastes like more breakfast oats, like with brown sugar and. and no, just, um, remember when we, were, when we were eating the, um, the barley off the malt floor? Yeah. Tastes like this. Yeah, we did eat barley off oh, boy, this is a true story. And um, it's got kind of like the spring, the Campbelltown, like, tropical to yeah, it. Like this guy. You speak Portuguese? I don't speak any Portuguese. No? I used to know how to say dick in Portuguese, but I forgot. You probably know how to say dick in most um, languages. Okay, so we're getting caramel. caramel. Biscuit. Like, biscuit. <laughs> biscuit? You just grabbed my butt. That's not appropriate. That's a biscuit. A cinnamon? Oh, yeah, I can cinnamon. see the cinnamon. Banana. That's what I was getting. Banana. banana. The banana, that smell. An apple. Do you remember that, um, the smell of the wart when we were smelling it? It had that yeah. banana bread. That's, yeah, that's, that's okay. perfect. Um, and then spicy, but I think the spicy that I'm getting is like the, cinnamon. the warm feel. Yeah, that's, a cinnamon always had a warm feel to me. Yeah, like spicy cinnamon, not like... Dried fruit or biscuit like is kind of like spicy, that toasted. Not yeah. the heat. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You I can like get it in one. both that oh, way. I really like this. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Glen mm -hmm. Goyne, if we're pronouncing that right, because God only knows, 59.8%. That's a pretty heavy scotch. Highland single malt cash strength batch <laughs> six. Here, put it here so you can screenshot it. Here, I'll put one. I'll put it here. Don't look at my nails. The nail salons are closed. I'll put it here. It's backwards, but I, I'm sure you can figure it out. You like a challenge, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I like that one. I give this, you know what? This is like a good drinking scotch. Like yeah. This is like a go-to. Yeah, it's a, like, I'm gonna go seven buy, and a half. I put this like an eight and a half. Yeah. I, I would, yeah, this would be, like, especially with people who yeah. want to try scotch for the first time, this is this would be a nice introductory I'm gonna, scotch. I'm actually going to buy this from Flaviar. Yeah, I'm going to buy a bottle when we get off here. Um, which, by the way, fun fact, with the Flaviar, box situation if you like the bottles or you like the tastings you can buy the bottles on the sites 
so great. on it's, site. It's great if but, you want to try yeah. things out without committing to a full bottle. So mm -hmm. they, they offer a, a nice product. I know, we didn't really talk about it before we started. We were like really excited. Flaviar.com. <laughs> I don't know where you guys are. Flavi I don't know if Flaviar even what, knows we're doing this. Yeah, I don't know if I didn't tell them. But basically, like what we're, what like a Fla Flaviar is, is when you open it up, it has three tasting vials in it. Um, they do scotch, they do whiskey, they do cognac, they do rum, they do vodka, they do everything. I always like the scotch because we're scotch drinkers, uh, although we do want to try other stuff. But um, long story short, it's a way to try before you buy in a sense. So you can try to have a taste, see if you like it, and if you like it, you can try another bottle. So we have bought from them before from tasting. We found like some really cool scotches. So that's what we're doing. I didn't go into any detail. We just started drinking. So. Yes. Cause, Welcome! Because quarantine. <laughs> okay, so next up, I'm actually really nervous about because I do not like this scotch. Um, it's a Glen Farkless, and I'm sure some of you are going to give me shit for this, but I do not like their scotches. I went to the distillery, not my cup of tea. I think they make great scotch, it's just not on my palate. Like, he doesn't like Glen Fittick, I don't like Glen Farkless. Um, but I'm still going to try it because I've actually, you know, this, this I've actually had this. Much, but it's a 105 cast strength um, Highland single malt. Mm, mm. I should do this, this paper. This, this smells just like the we banana poured, bread boy. Ooh. We poured these before we started to save time, but this is 60%. There you go, so you can see it. It's kind of blurry, but you get the idea. Um, their distillery is really cute, by the way. So I wanted to like their scotch, but like it's just not on I my own. I kind of like this. I gotta be honest. I kind of like this. Boy, it's got that banana bread. It's all. It banana smells, and sherry. Yeah, it smells it's like, like banana bread. Banana and sherry. It smells like a walnut. No, because I would hate it. <laughs> I, oh. It's not your cup of tea, no. There's like this earwax taste on the front. Like a waxy, like it has it. like a waxy, like orange peel citrus on the front end. And I, and like, I feel like a lot of their whiskeys do that. And it's just not my favorite thing. Vic likes it. Yeah, I love the. But I'm not the, right. Like, I'm not right. I'm not wrong. It's yeah, just, no, no. It's, it's like perfect. I always tell people, it's like Glen Fittick is a great scotch. It just yeah. has a grapefruit and walnut flavor to it, and I just don't like grapefruit and walnut. And this so. smells completely different than it tastes. Like oh, it absolutely. smells like it's gonna be. This smells like banana sweet. bread. I mean, it smells just like banana bread cooking in the mm -hmm. oven. I love that you're just like shooting them down. Hey. We don't fuck around here. Yeah, I just I want to like it, but just the earwax oh. rinds. Tasting is notes not say burnt caramel, sherry bomb, sherry sh bomb. I sherry definitely bomb. definitely taste the sherry that bomb. Was dark not chocolate mad on the internet, locally. Dark chocolate, nutty, oak, sweet, black, black pepper, pepper, spicy, dry. Maybe fruit. that's what I'm tasting. The, the black, black pepper. pepper you just, just black pepper is not your thing. No, but um, when I did go to the distillery, the um, this is one of the ones I actually could stand more than others. So, you know, if you like that, if you like peppery and you like spice, it's, it's a power though. You know, it's funny. They call these the power rangers, but these are, they seem balanced. No, seem they're balanced. power rangers because they're like go-to. I didn't even read the description. I'm doing a really bad job yeah. this evening. Um, yeah, it's. <laughs> Out loud. Out loud. <laughs> Would you like me to read out? No, one? I was gonna not read the whole thing because it would take forever, but this is taking just as long. Yeah, but, exactly, because um, you're reading it. <laughs> they have been chosen for their raw ABV power, but each individual expression has its own character, so and unique superpowers. So they're high, they're high alcohol ABV, alcohol yeah. by volume. So they're high alcohol, but they are balanced. They're not. Yeah. You're not they're getting not, like a burn in your throat or anything like that. I should get better at doing this stuff before we start. I'm yeah. learning, guys. Okay. <laughs> we'll get there. Um, the last is. Illich? 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 Ach. <laughs> Illich? Illich. Um, oh God, I'm sure we're going to get roasted because we always pronounce them wrong. Leave me alone. Colin, Barry, Charles, <laughs> our friends in Scotland, help us out this? here, man. You know? I'm, how did you think it was said? Illich? I, Illich? I like it's Illich. 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 Um, yeah. Cast strength. Um, it's from Isla. So I'm. Probably ninety five percent gonna like it. Yeah, which means it's smoky. And I, it's as also fuck. why I saved it for last because smoky. Fifty eight percent. Did not, I show this I don't yet? Know. 
I'm not sure. Please don't roast my nails. Look at my little nubby nails. I'm not sure what distillery this is from. We we may have or may Il, not have. Il, I don't think it's, it's a distillery. No, I don't think it's its own distillery because we know oh, all the distilleries right. on Isla, and that's not one of them. Yeah, so it's probably probably made by like a, like Bruno. Oh, I don't want to peek. Okay. Like Bruno, Bruno Wait, Lackey you? makes. Uh, the Just smoky it, ones, man. the Akamor. Just put it in your mouth and swallow. Oh, it. that's smoky. Oh, it smells like barbecue. I love barbecue. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice. Oh wait, what'd you give the last one? Rating wise. I would have given or that else? a seven. I know you're like yeah. about a two. I'm not even gonna answer it. But this is great. This is like a nine. I really. Mm. We've had one of these smell, before. This smells like. This is nice. It's ribs. heating, but this it's not so over. Good with ribs. It's not medicine-y, it's PD, it smells like barbecue rib, tastes like barbecue rib. This would be good with brisket. Okay. Yes. It's got a little sherry to it mm -hmm. or something, sherry, caskish. Some peat, some caramel. Oh, that's good. Some oak. I like it. I like it's it. not very deep, like flavor palette wise. Like it doesn't, it doesn't like, it doesn't, it doesn't linger, trail yeah. off. Yeah. But it's powerful. Like it's a, it has a great, flavor but it's not complex it's really does that make good. any sense I like it. it literally tastes like smoke and barbecue and that's what it says pd smoky oily black pepper phenols tangy vanilla sweet seaweed this yeah, is pretty much, seaweed. it's funny because this is actually a really good box because the glen Goyne, the first one is a very typical highland like not i don't want to say typical to like discount it but i mean like when you think of a highland scotch the Glen Goyne tastes like a Highland Scotch. The Glen Farkless is just, I can't comment because I, it's a, it's I don't good, want to say, yeah, you comment it's a that good, one. It's a good Scotch. It's, it's also a Highland Scotch. It's a good Scotch. It's got its own kind of flavor profile. I don't, the Glen Goyne to me reminds me of what everybody thinks of as Scotch. Yeah, Highland, usually what everyone yeah. thinks of is like a Highland Scotch. Like a, but even, I mean, even like the, the, you know, it's like a good version of Chevis Regal or a good version of Scotch that you know, yeah, like, Macallan. doesn't have no burn to it's it. A good it's good. It tastes like a good Macallan and I guarantee it's probably a quarter of the price. And then the um, is like a, a typical Isla Scotch. Yeah, it's a, it's a very it's a it's a lighter version of Isla Scotch. I'm currently Barry Lafroy. We got our buddy Barry over mm -hmm. at Lafroy. I got to tell you what, guys, if you ever get a chance to go to Isla Lafroy Bunahaben, you got to go kill home and you got to go see them. But um, Lafroy, we're not is talking like, about them. Vic. We are talking about whoever we want to talk about. We're us. Um, <laughs> but if you go to if you go to Isla, that other than no, Bunahaben, other than Bunahaben, they're all very PD, very heavy very medicinal. This is kind of like, it's a lighter version of that. Yeah. This is a this lighter is a, version. This is a beginner's an Isla, intro, yeah, but an, keep in mind that Isla is a, an advanced scotch, so it's like yes. a beginner's version of an advanced yes. smoky scotch. Isla is like bowls of scotch. Isla's like, like mm. if you take a, like a lumberjack and like he's never shaved his ball sack and you just, and he's like out hacking wood all day and you just plop it on your face. That sound good. Sounds awesome. <laughs> By the fire, there you go. Flannel. Um, <laughs> so yeah, but I can see why Flaviar put all of these together because they are very like they match the flavors that I would expect them to for where they're from. Yeah, they're and all, they are powerful. They're all super powerful. Um, yeah, they're yeah. all super oily because the high alcohol. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah, none of them. You know, none of them taste watered down. They're all like. It's a nice box. Are they all cast strengths? Yeah, they're, they're, all, they're, cast like strength. they're all cast strengths. So, well, yeah, because they're high. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, they're all high. I mean, the lowest is fifty-eight. So, mm -hmm. just in case, uh, for those of you who are That's in America, really fifty-eight percent is a hundred and six proof alcohol. Yeah. It's like no joke. The sixty percent is a hundred and twenty. This technically, it's if you illegal. washed your hands with it, you oh. would get rid of coronavirus. Oh, perfect, because I'm not drinking alcohol. it, so that's what I'm just What's your favorite? Um, oh, this, I mean, I'm an Isla fan, just like you, so yeah. the Gaelic is great. You know what? But that I really actually like that. I like all three. I like the Glen Goyne the best, the first one, because it was, like, what I want McAllen to taste like yeah. when I go to a bar. and no I No offense, McAllen. No, and McAllen's not bad. It's just, like, it, like I love when they did, like, McAllen Sierra and McAllen Ruby. And, and Amber. And Amber. Those were, that was, like, my favorite McAllen period. But you can't get that in the States. 
So you can really only get like Macallan 21, Macallan 12, Macallan 18, and they're like way overpriced. So this to me, the Glen Goyne is like a great, like it's for your home, because you're probably not gonna find this in a bar, but something that's like what I would want Macallan to be. You know, what I'm hoping for with the Ruby and the Sierra and the, so yeah, that was my favorite. I'm gonna actually get a bottle of that. Yeah, I, I honestly, I liked all of them. I would drink all of them. They were all really yeah. good. It, this is a great box. I mean, you look, you, you, you're yeah. gonna hit or miss with the boxes. Some of them you're gonna like, some of them you're not, but this is awesome. Yeah, like the last one I didn't like at all, but it wasn't the flavors that yeah. I enjoyed, so. But this one, I like both. I like two of the three, so. And even the other one I would drink. If, if, if I was in, if I needed it, yeah. I would still drink it. I'm still gonna finish the dram, so. So yeah. Maybe later. I'm getting some. You always get some. You act like you never get any, please. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Thank um, you. Check out flavr.com if you want to try your own. Everyone's stuck at home anyway, so get a couple of these bad boys and make your own bar experience. It could be like a super fun date night. Um, or or you, like you guys are doing way. like Zoom happy hours with your friends. This is, you know, get everybody to get oh, one and you can idea. all taste them. I mean, no, you can you know, have everyone get the same one and you try them all together. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea, babe. Yeah, you can do Zoom tastings. We got at least, oh, we got at least a month more of this shit. So yeah. we might as well enjoy it and alcohol helps. So yeah, so thank you, Flaviar. And um, I'm going to finish my drinks because I didn't shoot them. I'm enjoying them. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for following me and Vic technically. Technically. No, just her. And um, yeah. All our all our buddies in Scotland, and I'm sure some of you will watch this at a later date. We miss you guys, we love you, and we hope you're staying safe as well as all of you. Stay safe, stay indoors, wash your hands. We want to all come out of this with all our friends intact. So yeah. and all of you. Enjoy guys. Thanks guys. Bye. And bye!